Hi guys, welcome to a hate math group. So we have this expression and we need to simplify it. I see I have a trinomial on the top and I have 2 minus x on the bottom. So how do I do this? Well, the first thing you need to do is to factor the top. So let's go ahead and do it. I see that I have 2x squared minus x minus 6. This will be very easy if I didn't have this stupid 2 in the front, but I do have a 2 in the front, so that tells me that I need to factor with the bridge way. And this is how I do it. First of all, I do 2 times 6, and that's going to give me negative 12. I'm sorry, 2 times negative 6, which is going to give me negative 12. Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the factors of 12 that when I multiply then give me 12 and when I add then give me negative 1. So remember 12 can be 6 times 2, 12 can also be 12 times 1, but look if I choose 4 and 3 or better negative 4 plus 3 that's going to be equals to negative 1. This guys can be a little bit difficult at the beginning but you just need to practice. They are pain in the neck. So now that I have this, I'm going to rewrite my expression. Look what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything illegal. This negative 1 is the same as negative 4x plus 3x. I'm just rewriting the number negative 1x. I got that from doing 2 times 6, which it was 12, and 12 is 4 times 3. Now, let's go ahead and factor. I'm going to build like an invisible wall between these two factors and these two factors. Now let's go ahead and factor. Just look at this size. 2x squared minus 4x. Well, what can I factor? What is the greatest common factor of 2x squared minus 4x? Well, it's going to be 2x. So I just rewrite it again. 2x times x minus 2. Let's do the same for the right side. What can I factor when I have 3x minus 6? And again, it's going to be the factor 3. So look what happens. I have 2x times x minus 2 plus 3 times x minus 2. This came out from here. I just took the 3 out. And look, I can always double check by folding back 3x, negative 6. Once you're here, these two parentheses must be the same. If you did not get the same, you did something wrong. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and put together the factors. I put together 2x with 3 and then x minus 2 together. Awesome. I have my top. Now that I have the top, this is going to be, instead of writing 2x squared minus x minus 6, I'm going to write 2x plus 3 times x minus 2. Well, what can I do here? Now here you have x minus 2 and I have 2 minus x. Well, can you see what's happening? Here I have a positive x and a negative 2, and here I have a positive 2 and a negative x. Well, you can go ahead and simplify this. Remember, if I would have had x minus 2 over x minus 2, okay, that's just equals to 1 because this over this is your 1. But when the signs are different, this is actually the same as negative 1 because what you're doing is that you are factoring the negative. Finally, I'm going to have, remember, this was canceled and that became negative 1. And this is equals to negative parenthesis 2x plus 3. Finally, I factor the negative and I get my right answer. Alert! This is not an easy question and you have to know a lot of factoring and you have to know how to simplify. So please check the tutorials because sometimes when people don't understand, they think like, oh my God, what's going on? I don't understand what she's saying. But I promise you, there is no easy way of doing this. It's just practicing. And that's it. I'm going to put more tutorials, more videos for you so you can be successful with this test. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. And also, thanks so much for learning.